none of my YouTube clips, well, very few of them get, get that many views. Uh, but this, um, this is a sort of ongoing process. I'm trying to take Creative Commons to a further direction. So it's sort of obvious that these aren't properly edited videos. They're uh, where I've got to so far. So they are, they're on there as Creative Commons, so you're, you're very welcome to point a camera at the screen or download them. On some devices, YouTube lets you download, um, and it varies. But it's possible anyway, to, to, or you could do your own, because they're, they're, they're just based on moving about in Exeter. So there's two there. Uh, there's Tent Mix Walk May 22, and 2022 rush to open brackets now with sound comments close close brackets and they're both retweeted from we not know so you've got a good chance of, of finding them and i'll just just say roughly what they're what they're about um 2022 rush 2 is uh, about the new swimming pool st sidwell's point so it's around that area and I've I've always thought the the architecture is 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 a clash of styles or going to be a clash of styles, and it's all going to be too close together, and I I don't think the swimming pool is, has got enough space around it to actually see what it, what it's about. Um, so I do have a go at the student accommodation. Really, it's, uh, if you've heard this show before, you'll know that that's one of the things I'm I'm concerned about. But I, I don't think I'm alone in that. I think there's quite a few people in Exeter who. Uh, have have co comments about that um, so that's that's the sort of start but if if you've got um, other video or other photographs or other views on how that all looks that space or if you've got a artificial intelligence projection of what it might look like when the other buildings are there uh, that would be be very interesting um, tweet, tweet to us or find some way of let, let me know uh, but then the other one is called uh, Temp Mix Walk May 22. And I've, I've tweeted about that as, as well, but I can't find it at the moment. Oh, yeah, here it is. Um, and it's got, a, it's got a picture of a new, a new water studies centre, which I came across by, ac by accident. Um, but apart from that, it follows on from last summer when I did a, a, a lot of short clips of um, brooks in Exeter called Follow the Water. So you could, you, they were in sequence, they're in playlists, I think, somewhere still. So you can walk around Exeter and follow the, the sounds. The sounds aren't going to be the same every time, but um, this one, this one just, just came up in a jumble. When I, when I loaded it in to be edited, it was already in a random order, so I, I just accepted that. Um, and there will be other other ones as it goes along. Um, Hevet Tree History Society are going to do a walk along the North Brook. That's Saturday week, I think. You fi find that I think it's Saturday week, and so that's that's pretty good. That sort of starts up Sto Stoke Hill, goes past Morrison's, and then down to the river where the golf course used to be. That's a very rough idea of the route. Uh, I don't think you have to walk all of it. It's quite a long way. But if you know somebody who's on it, they, c they might tell you rough time scale of when the walk would get somewhere else. And um, I'm sure they know uh, what the history is and what the proper route, the best route for walking is. I did try to suss it out, but I think I got lost uh, somewhere between Stoke Hill and Morrison's. I went, went slightly wrong. But uh, anyway, I got home again, so so that was... That was good, and along the way, I went. I went down in the dip on getting towards the university, over what I thought think of as Hoopen Fields, but is the lower Hoopen Valley. I think there is a there is a footpath which goes down and comes up again, and at the bottom, there's another path that goes off towards um, where the where the drama department is and Weatherspoon, sort of that that end. But I'm not sure if you're supposed to go down that path or if you're supposed to get out again or if you've got to come back to where you came in. The, the, 
I, I, I don't think there is any project at the moment to build student accommodation in that space. But there have been rumours or nightmares or the idea has been about at various times. Um, but I think that's gone. There was a car parking idea as well, I think. I think there's evidence of that one. Uh, but anyway, if anybody knows um, where you're allowed to walk in that, or where, you're, where, where it's expected that you would walk in that, in that area, that would be interesting. And um, also, if, if there's any, any links to any, any other photographs, uh, bits of sound, uh, video, uh, walking around Exeter's uh, small streams, they get they go underground as as well. You've got to you've got to be careful where they where they are.